Good afternoon and welcome to Chicago. Welcome to the CTBUH 9th Annual Awards Symposium and Dinner. My name is Anthony Wood. I'm the Executive Director of the Council. Uh, and we have, as you all know already, a fantastic afternoon and evening planned. We want to get things started this afternoon uh, by inviting uh, our Chairman, Professor Sangday Kim, onto stage um, to give the welcome for this afternoon and say a little bit about the Council. Um, and I, I, we're very pleased to report that the Council is uh, in great shapes and, and, and very healthy, and Professor Kim has been absolutely instrumental in making that happen uh, and continuing that through what everybody knows has been a, a severe economic recession in the past two years. So can we please welcome Professor Kim up to stage with a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat, I'd like to welcome all of you to the ninth Annual Award Symposium and to the great city of Chicago. The headquarters of the CTBH here in Chicago, and for a good reason, after the great Chicago fire in 1871, Chicago quickly became the worst place to many skyscrapers. This history has put Chicago skyscrapers at the top of the list of tall buildings. The Home Insurance Building, Willis Tower, John Hancock Center, Aon Center, Trump International Hotel and Tower, and many other buildings have made great contribution to the tall building industry. This symposium was organized for the benefit of the professional and academic community. We will get to see the presentations from world-famous architects and engineers who are senior representatives of groundbreaking award-winning projects, as well as from lifetime achievement winners who have influenced the tall building profession for decades. The latest technology construction, design, and tendency will be all important parts of these presentations. I'd like to extend my greatest congratulations to the 2010 CTBH Lifetime Achievement Award recipients, Mr. William Pedersen, the Rim Beader Lifetime Achievement Award winner, and the late Professor Israel Seinu, the Fazer Khan Lifetime Achievement Medal winner, and also congratulations to the best toll building award recipients, including Bank of America Tower, Broadcasting Place, Burj Khalifa, and Pinnacle at Duxton. I hope all of you enjoy this opportunity and have an interesting afternoon with the symposium. Once again, congratulations to all the winners. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, as I said at the beginning, we have a fantastic afternoon planned. Um, a statistic that may surprise you. 2010 will be the most successful year for skyscraper completion ever in the history of mankind. There will be more tall buildings built over 200 meters than in any other year in history by a big margin. Uh, and if you're interested in the graphs and statistics on that, um, you can look in the awards book uh, where we plot that every year since 1930. There is a massive spike in 2010, only surpassed by the spike that will happen in 2011. Um, after that, it's going to tail off because, of course, what we are seeing this year and next year are the, the, the fruits of projects that started five, six, seven, eight years ago. Um, so the projects that we have on uh, being presented this afternoon are, are really an exceptional projects within an exceptional year. Um, and so I want to start by inviting the speakers in the first session to please join us on stage. 
Um, and perhaps we could give them a round of applause as they join us. Bill Pedersen from Con Pedersen Fox, Rick Cook from Cook and Fox, Lisa Spritz from the Bank of America, um, Peng Beng Poo Ku from Arc Studios Singapore, and Lawrence Pack from the Housing Development Board in Singapore.